welcome to episode 36 of the Heavy NFLD official podcast. I am your host, Greg Akhenaten Ravengrave, and on this episode, we are taking a very special look at a scene that is not our own. Yes, we are leaving the island of Newfoundland to go back to the mainland. If you remember, I believe it was either earlier this year or back in 2020, we did an episode in which we covered a bunch of bands from Montreal, Quebec. It was the first episode in the podcast in which we left Newfoundland and went to somewhere else on the mainland to look at a local scene in a different part of the country. So we decided that we're going to do that again on this episode. And since it's November, we are going to go to Nova Scotia. Yes, we have a shit ton of bands from Nova Scotia, both metal and punk, that we are going to play for you on this episode. And starting us off is a rip-roaring fucking banger. The first band is called Igniter, and they're kind of a mixture of black metal, death metal, and thrash metal, all put together in one really, really greasy, disgusting, but also at the same time, melodic blender. Uh, The song that we're going to play is called God Eater from the EP they released of the same name. I think it might have came out back in 2018, though I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember off the top of my head. But uh, if you want to know before we get into it what kind of band this this band sounds like, I I would kind of compare them to Destroyer 666, um, possibly even Butcher from Belgium as well. Uh, they, they really strike a fine balance between melodic yet insanely aggressive at the same time. So, without further ado, once again, this is God Eater by Igniter. Yeah. 
sorry to leave you hanging there on the end of that last song that we just played. A little bit anticlimactic, if I do say so myself, but uh, if you want to hear the rest of it, you're going to have to go check out the album. The name of that album being Sorrow Will Overcome Me by the band Pale Ache. Once again, also from Nova Scotia. Uh, Pale Ache are definitely more of a metalcore act. I would like to compare them to bands like Code Orange, maybe even knocked loose or harm's way to a lesser degree they kind of strike that balance between uh metalcore with like some light to medium industrial influences there's a little bit of an industrial tinge going over the entire record that's a brand new album that just came out by the way it came out a little bit earlier this year 2021 it's available on Bandcamp right now so i highly recommend you go check it out and before that once again we had uh, igniter with the song god eater Pretty fucking brutal stuff, if I do say so myself. Now, coming up next, we have a track from a brand new up-and-coming band from Nova Scotia. These guys are called Bloodprint, and they are very, very young. They are all teenagers, and for being a bunch of teenagers who have just put out their very first EP, entitled Scorched, it's pretty damn good stuff, you know? It's kind of a combination of, like, new wave of british heavy metal old school heavy metal with some more modern like groove metal stuff i guess so kind of think like iron maiden and lamb of god take those two sounds distill them through the uh i guess the filter of youth and the uh (laughs) the lo-fi expectations of a band from atlantic canada and you get blood print so we're going to play the title track from their brand new ep scorched once again, by Bloodprint.
Okay, so that was Waste of Life by a little band called Hal Nova. These guys are a four-piece, I believe. Yes, four-piece progressive slash technical slash death metal band from Halifax, Nova Scotia. As you can probably tell by their name, it's a pretty obvious and apparent portmanteau of Halifax and Nova Scotia. They've released one EP so far entitled Distorted Perception, which that song came from, is available on Bandcamp right now, six tracks of slamming brutality with no limits. The band describes themselves as, uh, well, no limits, brutal slamming bass, progressive psychedelic riffs, technical grooves, blast beats, and pissed off vocals, and I definitely think the song we just heard uh, hits the nail on the head when it comes to that kind of stuff. Before that, we played, once again, Scorched by Bloodprint. Pretty good stuff there, although I want to amend my previous statement and say that I would actually take out the Iron Maiden reference and maybe put in a Metallica reference instead. I think they're definitely more in line with that era of like 80s hard rock slash thrash metal, also still combined with modern groove metal. Now, next off, we are going to go to a very, very, very short song because we're going into grindcore territory. Yes, we're playing a song by the band Bone Tower. The song is called Mangled Wounds from their most recent uh, EP, or sorry, actually it's a full-length album uh, that just dropped this year. So if you want to go check that out, it's on Bandcamp. Once again, this is Mangled Wounds by Bone Tower.
Woo, that was heavy as fuck, wasn't it? Yeah, that was The Weedzerd by Brain Fog. Uh, incredible song title, incredible track from a demo that they released, I believe, back in 2020. I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that. Uh, those guys are from North Sydney, of course, on the uh, east coast of Nova Scotia, unlike most of the other bands that we've played so far, which are from either Halifax or Dartmouth. Um now, that was definitely the longest song that we've had on this episode of the podcast so far, preceded by the shortest song that we've had on this episode of the podcast so far. That was, once again, Mangled Wounds by Bone Tower from the album We All Will Die One Day, which came out earlier this year. Actually, I think it might have even come out this month or, or last month, something like that. It came out really, really recently. Uh, we only have two more songs on this episode, so I hope that you guys have enjoyed what you've heard so far and that you're going to enjoy the last two tracks that we're going to play for you. We're going to go right into it. I'll talk about them after. This is called Casualty by Thousand Knives.
Okay, so what you just heard there, that last song, was Impatience by Pith, a death metal band from Halifax, from their last album, Nine, which came out several years ago. Uh, I particularly like that track. It's got a lot of different twisting and winding sounds. I especially love the cattle decapitation-esque vocals that come in at the end. Like, I, when the first time I listened to that track, I was not expecting that. It kind of comes out of nowhere and like blew my fucking mind. It sounds super weird and out there, and I just really, really like that. And before that, we had Casualty by a Thousand Knives. They're a pretty cool band, too. They uh, definitely fall more in the metalcore category Kind of similar to Pale Ache, where I would compare them to uh, Code Orange, Knock Loose, Harm's Way, that kind of style of new modern hardcore. Though I think they definitely fall more in line with the latter two bands, whereas Pale Ache kind of could be compared to Code Orange a little bit more. So, without further ado, I want to say thank you to all of the bands that uh, allowed me to play their music on this episode of the podcast Huge, huge, huge shout out to all eight of you. I really, really appreciate it. I want to do more episodes like this in the future where we kind of investigate the local scenes in different provinces as well as different cities all across the country, helping to promote more underground music, whether it's metal, punk, or any other genre that's adjacent to that. So you can expect a lot more episodes like this in the future. Of course, Heavy NFLD and this podcast is always going to be primarily focused on Newfoundland and Labrador, but there is a finite number of bands from this local scene, of course. So as the podcast continues to go on in our history, we're going to start exploring other scenes because we just need to kind of branch out and explore uh, other avenues of music because there's only so much that you can do about Newfoundland when there's only so many bands that exist in this province. So uh, thank you everyone for listening. Thank you for uh, sharing this podcast. If you do, it's very, very much appreciated. And I hope to catch you on the next episode. Until then, stay fucking heavy. Peace out.